What is up everybody? This is Shields again with Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. This morning I'm over here in Kissel, North Carolina. I'm going to be taking you through a Carolina Drake Cape. Really excited about this video because I get a lot of questions about this specific plan. Similar to our Carolina uh, Stanley in the sense of it's going to consist of a living room and a den and four bedrooms. As far as this exterior goes, you'll notice the vertical siding here on the front elevation. You've got matching double dormers on each end there with a beautiful turn gable right there in the middle with a double window inside of that turn gable there, okay? You'll also notice the black gutters and downspouts, which are the same price as white. You're also seeing that beautiful double door like we show on our Greenbrier model. I get a lot of questions about that double door. You've seen it in other plans. You know it can be put in basically any plan. You're looking at that textured block for the foundation material. That is the foundation material that we um, include there. You're also seeing the picture frame molding, the thicker Salem trim around the windows in lieu of shutters or instead of shutters. You've seen in some of my other videos with the price of the vertical stuff um, being what it is, a lot of people are doing the horizontal on the sides and the back, just like this customer did here. So um, in this scenario, you would see a cost for the vertical on the front, the dormers and the turn gable up there. And then the rest of the house, we would get away with the included um, siding option there. Wouldn't cost you any extra on the sides and the back. Really, really attractive exterior here. Uh, very, very similar to how the website is going to show the elevation for the uh, Carolina Drake Cape. Almost the exact same here. So let's get in here and take a look. Let me kick my shoes off. So when you open this door, your staircase to the Cape or unfinished second level is to my right. And then to my left, I'm greeted by this nice open space, which includes my kitchen and includes this front living room. As you can see, they optioned in the shiplap fireplace. You have seen other surrounds as far as the fireplace goes. You've seen stone, you've seen the mo uh, modern marble. So you've seen some different stuff there. Awesome kitchen, huge island there. I've got storage on the front and back of that island. Got a pantry closet here, which you'll see in a second. Nine foot ceilings is what you're seeing today. You're also gonna be seeing the luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout this plan as well, which you know is, is always an option. Here's that stairwell going up to the Cape. As far as this bottom level goes, you're looking at 1,991 square feet with an additional, call it, here's the floor plan an additional 1,100 square feet up top. So here's your floor plan. It is 27 foot, eight inches deep, and then 72 foot across. Like I said, living room, den, four bedrooms, similar to the general idea of our Carolina Stanley model. All right, so let's get into this. You will also notice this customer optioned in transom windows over the kitchen window and over the sliding glass door. This area here leads you into that secondary den or family room, similar to our Stanley. We're gonna start you here with no wall at all. You can option in a case opening. You could do French pocket doors. You could do French barn doors. Um, you could do uh, two columns with little knee walls running into those columns. So you've got some options here, but it opens up into a nice, spacious, secondary living room. Again, this is the Carolina Drake Cape. And I am Shields with Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington. Over here, you've got bath two, bedroom two, three, and four, okay? Here's me looking back at that kitchen through that cased opening. The utility room is off of the kitchen there, which I'll get into. I did want to show you this under um, under the staircase closet, which is always nice, just kind of gaining some additional storage there. 
Let's go over here and knock out these bedrooms and bath two. Okay, so I'm here, I've got bedroom two, three, and four, bath two. Let's pick on this bedroom here. Oh, I was wrong. They kept carpet in the spare bedrooms. I believe the master bedroom, they optioned to do the luxury, uh, luxury vinyl plank flooring. What's cool about these uh, bedrooms is that the closets have these, um, this double door set up with just, which just kind of gives the closet a little bit more usable space. Kind of easier to get into these corners. And all three of these spare bedrooms are set up like this. So I'm not gonna show you all three, but just know that they are. Those are your included two panel doors. The five panel is basically five rectangles going up the door. Those are gonna be extra. This is your included crown molding, included wall color, included base molding, trims, hardware on the door, all that stuff is included. Here's that bath too. Very nice sink. Those are our um, included bathroom sinks. Not gonna cost you a dime extra, very nice. Tub shower combo, which is what, you know, all your bath twos are gonna start you with and your exhaust fan, and then you've got the double vanity light there. Here's that um, second bedroom. So I talked about this in one of my last videos. Um, I use the series tab the most when I'm on our website. Um, it's just like cars, some series come with more and some series come included with less. Some have higher starting prices, some have lower starting prices. Some series are fully customizable as far as moving interior walls where other series are gonna be a little bit more set in stone on what I can and can't do as far as moving walls. So um, this particular plan is part of the novel series. I'm going to call the novel series the most customizable and include the most options. Um, pound for pound, I'm probably going to call it my more expensive or most expensive series. All right, back to the kitchen here. You know now, if you've been watching my videos, there's two standard range hoods at no cost. That is one of them. Just replace the glass with stainless steel. That is our optional stainless steel sink. When we do a solid surface like this beautiful quartz countertops like you're seeing, we're gonna undermount that sink. The sink does come included with these little accessories that you can easily take in or put in and take out. There are three standard cabinet colors or included cabinet colors. You've got the white, You've got the pepper, which is a darker color, and you've got the gray stone. Check out this walk-in pantry. Awesome, awesome walk-in pantry here. Got them an outlet down here if they ever wanted to put some type of appliance in here. Tons of shelving, great pantry. Just a very well lit, I mean, look at this natural light. If I didn't, even if I didn't have those can lights on, it is just a very well lit house. Tons of opportunity for natural light to get in. This is me standing in the kitchen, looking back at that front door. Just a lovely front door, shiplap fireplace. All right, and then off of the kitchen is that utility room, a fantastic utility room. There's your third exterior door, the utility utility room door there. Look at all this floor space. Washer and dryer hook up there. Overhead storage. You got the cubby bench, hall tree, hat rack, whatever you want to call it. And then here you've got the easily accessible water closet or water heater, water heater closet. There you go. 50 gallon tank there. 
I would say in general, I would always consider this an option really for any utility room. It's very rare that I can't work that in. Again, this is the Carolina Drake Cape, 1991 square feet. I'm Shields with Carolina Custom Homes of Burlington, located at 2450 North Church Street in Burlington, North Carolina. Here's that master bedroom. I was correct. They added the flooring in this master bedroom. Nice double window for natural light. Over here, I've got my walk-in pantry. I mean, walk-in closet. So basically what you can do in this plan, that walk-in pantry that was off of the kitchen in there that ran to basically here through this wall, I can eliminate that walk-in pantry and do a, a closet here and a closet there. So I can do a double closet or I can do a single closet with the walk-in pantry coming off of the kitchen, basically running where my finger is showing you here. So just remember that, you'll see it um, listed as an option on our website. Here's that uh, master bathroom, four by eight shower. You're seeing a ton of these in a lot of my videos. Worked them in a nice tall linen, uh, linen cabinet there. Double sinks, of course, very nice. The four by eight shower, like I always preach to you, gonna come included with ceramic tile the rain head and the wand there something like this or adding an additional head or an additional rain head or an additional can light would cost you a little extra okay and the four by eight shower is always going to come with that built-in bench there and the exhaust fan is running here's that water closet I must have accidentally flipped the exhaust on, but you have one in the water closet and you have one in the bathroom or the, you know, the shower part. So a lot of people ask me in our models, is that an exhaust fan? It just looks like a light. Obviously you can hear it running. So yes, um, it is a light and an exhaust, kind of that low profile, not too obvious, ugly exhaust fan there. All right, so we're back to that main space. I'm gonna hop up in the upstairs real quick, show you around. Like you know, I can add this to any plan. It's roughly gonna add a thousand square feet. Like I said, this one's a little over 1100 here for this upstairs space. So that is the double window there from that turn gable. You've got the gable end window there. Then you've got the, if you're looking at it from the outside, this is the left side double dormer here. Tons and tons of natural light. I love how much light these dormers and stuff are letting in. Very nice. If you're seeing that silver lining of the roof, that is called Tech Shield. You can do any roof with that product um, lining it. It does not have to be a true cape like this one to do that. Very affordable, very popular. It's a radiant bearing heat sheathing that keeps this attic cooler in the summers. It's gonna be cheaper to heat and cool once they finish this out. Option across the board. That double dormer down here. All right, guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the views, comments, all the likes. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate it. My email is shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, at NC Custom Modulars with an S, dot com. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, like I just said. If you have any questions, give me a call at 336-226-9066. Please ask to speak with me. We have something very similar to this on our lot. It's called the Carolina Stanley. If you wanna get out there and take a look, go through it with me, I'd love to do so. Show you that secondary den space one more time. And that's it. 
Thank you guys. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions to point out different things on my next video. Let me know. Thanks.